Hello. So, <clears throat> so we've been watching, kind of reviewing, it's like reviewing evidence, kind of rewatching the videos that I had recorded and posted on YouTube throughout the year that I was living in Kent. And we, yeah, there's been lots of kind of like dialoguing and kind of just like intention reading and kind of like, yeah, a lot of the shit that this ego that's been stuck with me for a little while here, uh, yeah, yeah, this, this ego has constantly been trying to sort of like lighten the, you know what I mean? Like the degree of harm that it has caused to another living thing, to many other living things. The abuse, the torture, the arrogance, the pride, the foolish, vain pride. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah. It, it's funny, dude. It's quite funny. Because when the guy is, you know what I mean? When he doesn't have enough leverage to be a bully anymore, like how he used to be. He gets very, like, meek and small and pathetic and complainy and kind of like, well, uh, I didn't, I didn't intentional, I didn't mean to, I didn't, yeah, yeah. And when the guy has even the slightest amount of upper hand or leverage or anything like that, he uses it as an opportunity to gloat about what he's done. He's proud of it. about taking about like eight or nine months to siphon away and abuse and torture and manipulate and yeah, yeah. Someone's soul, a person. Yeah, yeah. Kind of forgot what I was gonna say, but yeah, my mind got erased. But yeah, yeah, I forgot, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, well, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's proud of it. He's proud of what he did to another living thing. And dude, he, unironically, unironically, this thing. Once it was inside of my body, the mental gymnastics and the constant, like, cycles of fear, doubt, paranoia, clinging, lying, embellishing yeah with anything that was around it that belonged to the people that it had harmed it would use the opportunities when it gets the upper hand to become a tyrant despot like a petty little hitler mm -hmm. and it, it begins to gloat about all the damage that it's done as opposed to being Oh, I didn't know I was hurting others. I, I, I if I did, I, I, I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Once it gets even the slightest upper hand, it turns into, yeah, yeah, look, like, yeah, look what I did. And like, yeah. And it thinks it's better than God. And it thought, it genuinely thought, because it, it had no idea what the self is at all. It thought it did. It thought it knew the self, and it thought it, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It has no fucking idea. And so, and so, it thought that if it could successfully kill myself, Piper, that it could replace myself and become, oh, dude, it, 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 it's phrased it in so many different cringe ways throughout the last, like, like, eight months or whatever the fuck it's been. Like, auditioning to become Data's boyfriend. <laughs> Data de ba, yeah, da, da. Yeah. yeah, yeah, auditioning to become Dad's boyfriend. <laughs> and when he would become aware, dude, yo, yeah, there's been that auditioning to become, like, the next god or trying to become a Buddha or any such aspirational, quite, like, adorable... You know, like, yeah. 
petty. <laughs> I want to talk about petty. Oh, uh, but yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I just remember what I was going to say like a minute and a half ago. Like, yeah, yeah. The thing brags about taking about eight or nine months is what it took to completely erode away and siphon away my life force, my chi, my, yeah, my me, myself, my soul. It took him about eight or nine months for beings who are past the ego, meaning transcendent of the ego, doing what took you nine months takes us about two seconds. Two seconds. The thing mistakes kindness for weakness. So yeah. Yeah. Next time it starts doing it, it just did this last night again, where it would like begin to drink up, as opposed to like you know actually allowing for the regeneration and the healing of the people that it's afflicted. It would selfishly begin to consume and retain energy from the people around us, like a parasite, and it used that inflated state, what little leverage it has, it used that opportunity, that platform to attempt to like twist the narrative so that what it did to the people that it's afflicted was meaningless. He tried to make himself like he really, really wants to be the cool guy. He really, really wants to be, like, the... Do you know what I mean? The best and, like, popular and notorious and feared and, like... Yeah, he wants to be that guy. He wants to be cool. He wants to, you know... But he, he runs into this unfortunate circumstance where, like, nobody around him thinks that he's cool because of his actions and his carelessness and his lack of empathy and his antisocial behavior. And so he has to constantly compensate for this by pulling aspects of other people into his little, little baglet there and pretending, like a child wearing his dad's work uniform, and pretending like a little tiny kid, that he is all of these energies, aspects, pe like souls, people, whatever you want to say, that dwell around him. He tries to say that that's him, and that he d did everything that that being did. And he totally like chose and decided to put himself into this predicament because he can't like swallow this idea that after he committed murder, yeah, yeah, yeah. His ass was forced inside of this body to keep it alive. And every second from that moment on, he has been writhing and struggling to maintain any kind of control at all. He has none. He has none. He has none. Dude, that old body, you're not in that body anymore. Yeah. You know how when we say my body, my soul? Yeah. You are now my soul. And just like how you treated everyone around you, like they were your property, you are now my property. I can, I, I can do whatever I want with this ego. It's mine. If I wanted to cut the sleeves off of this coat, I could. It belongs to me. Just like this ego does. So yeah. Fix my life. And you owe me about six grand. Chop chop. Om Namah Shivaya.